Let me show you a simulation that they have made of the total solar eclipse. There's the sun, and here comes the moon coming up, getting ready for as the eclipse is happening. So this is just a simulation to kind of give the kids an idea ahead of time of what it's going to look like. So now we get totality, and there's the corona of the sun around the outside to show when totality hits. And then we will move back off of totality down the partial eclipse on the other side. A lot of these kids, they've never been able to interact with any kind of data that comes in live. They can only deal with stuff that's like normal braille text that's been pre-printed for them ahead of time. We don't get to touch the moon or we don't get to, you know, touch the stars, but uh, so it can be kind of hard for them to conceptualize it. So they'll be able to feel it live and I think they're going to have a lot of sensor data so they can get information about the change in light and temperature and heat. So part of it, they will be able to experience, oh, the temperature should drop, right, when the, the sun gets covered. So they'll be able to do that, but then they'll also be able to tell, like, how much of the sun is covered at any time as it's occurring, so they don't miss out on that information that everyone else has experienced. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.